in a Beijing aquarium. Visitors marvel at a fish known as the underwater panda of China. These specimens, though, are relatively small fry. Chinese sturgeons can grow to a whopping four meters or 13 feet. But it's been 20 years since monster fish that large have been seen in the Yangtze River. Zepp Hogan wants to investigate. This intrepid National Geographic explorer has been crisscrossing the world, looking for what he calls mecha fish. On China's legendary Yangtze River, he surveys the massive Three Gorges Dam, a boon to the Chinese economy, but a potential hazard for migrating sturgeon. Yangtze River, third largest river in the world. You know, the Three Gorges Dam is essentially chopped it in half. And so from the perspective of a fish, there's nothing that affects the environment like a dam. Zeb joins top Chinese expert Wei Qi at a research facility to get a close look at this legendary Asian fish. This five-year-old is hefty, but smaller than it would be in the wild. And the largest adults seem to have disappeared. So 20 years ago, there was a thousand pound fish. Yeah. And now in the last 20 years, you haven't seen any that big. Uh, no. Decades ago, there were some 2,000 spawning Chinese sturgeon in the Yangtze. Now that number is down to several hundred, more likely victims of dams, boat traffic, poaching, and pollution. Conservationists are now locked in a race against time to save this titan of the river from extinction. At a hatchery, juvenile Asian sturgeon are kept safe in an incubation tank. The goal is to raise them until they're sexually mature and then release them into the river to spawn. Unfortunately, these guys will not reach adulthood until they're about 10 years old. And the oldest fish in the facility are only about five. That means it will be several more years before the first fish can be released. However, Zeb quickly learns that even youngsters are a force to be reckoned with. Big fish, it's a strong fish. And it's tail's free, so it can really whip around. But uh, I think I have its eyes covered, and they calm down quite a bit once their eyes are covered. The giant sturgeon is not the only big freshwater fish endangered in Asia. Zeb next moves on to Mongolia, where the world's largest trout may be the one that got away. He and fellow researcher Brant Allen This is a strong fish. <laughs> cast around for some of these increasingly rare fish in the fast-moving waters of the Egg River. Scientists have determined that Eurasian trout, known locally as the Thai men, are now too rare to support commercial or recreational fishing. Known as ferocious predators, the Thai men can live for 50 years and grow to be larger than Zeb himself. He finds only younger fish, but still marvels at their power. This is a Hucho Thai men, the world's largest trout. It's an apex predator. These fish will eat ducks, mice, uh, basically anything that it can fit in its mouth. After measuring and tagging, these big trout are returned to the river. Zeb hopes that somewhere out there in the world's lakes and rivers, giant, fully mature fish are hiding from humans. But we must act now to save them before they disappear completely. It's becoming clear a pattern is emerging. Big fish are in trouble. Probably 50 to 70% of freshwater fish over six feet in length are threatened with extinction. There may even be giant freshwater species that we don't even know about yet. We might lose a fish before we even knew it existed. But for many of these species, it's not too late. So of course, action is needed immediately. Mongolia is considering making it illegal to kill time in and sports anglers must release their catches back into the water. Conservationists support such measures and also urge that communities clean up their waterways and regulate development. If not, the only way to see megafish 
may be in aquariums. And even then, they may be far smaller than the giants that once swam with the dinosaurs. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.